Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Just like me, we long to be close to you. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Willie Jolly with my beautiful and vivacious and brilliant wife. This is Dee. Isn't she gorgeous? I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Yeah, you know, that's right. Yeah. Hey, Greg Gazzara, watching from home. Thank y'all. Uh, so glad to have y'all and our, our friends and as part of our community. And uh, we're grateful uh, that y'all are here. And we're grateful for all those who are joining on all the different platforms. Uh, we are the Jollies. We are the authors, for those who might be first timers of the book. Oh, I don't want to block you. Uh, of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage, available at jollymarriage.com. And we are grateful to have you. And we are grateful for the opportunity to hopefully empower and inspire some improvement in relationships or just enhancement of relationships. Tonight, we're gonna to talk about something that's come across our desk. We wanna encourage and invite you you got an issue, you got a concern, you got something you're dealing with that you want to keep anonymous, but do want our take on it, feel free to send us an email at info at willyjolly.com. I-N-F-O at Willie, W-I-L-L-I-E, Jolly, J-O-L-L-E-Y.com. And we will hopefully get to some of them. We can't get to all of them, but get some of them. This is one that's been blowing up today. And actually, when we came in, we said, well, we know a little bit about it, but we are grateful. One of our staff folks who has asked me to keep her name out of my mouth when I'm on TV <laughs> said, said uh, she, got, she knows the whole T. She got the whole background because she's known Wendy Williams. So it's about Wendy Williams. Uh, people are saying, what do you think about the Wendy Williams documentary that has aired and many people know that she was a very popular radio show personality before becoming becoming a hugely popular daytime television so she was host. a radio personality in new york in new york city mm -hmm. yeah and uh, was very popular um and then she went to television which became national a nationally syndicated television program. And they said she was on for 12 seasons? Correct. Was she on that long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going into her 13th season. And what happened? Well, she started acting ill. Strange. Something was not going well. As well as her, her marriage was falling apart. And so, but the, I think the main thing was the, the illness and the concern about that. And so... She took a leave of absence, kind of like, you know, a, a short time, but couldn't go back. And so, so that ended in what, 2022? Yeah, I think so. And so, so now there are uh, a lot of things going on, and the documentary speaks to a, a lot of her issues, her life, her money, her relationships, which is what I want to focus on. And I said, let's focus on that. But I also want to talk about the lessons from this documentary or her life that we could share with couples about your finances, preparing for illness and preparing for guardianships and things like that. So uh, we want to make sure people know that they can chime in from wherever you are. We will be reading your comments as we go along. OK, so do you want to give a quick synopsis? So the documentary filmed between the 20 August the year 2022 and April of 2023 mm -hmm. called Where is Wendy Williams? And it chronicles what they call the former shock jock daytime sensation and her health and, and her mental state and it, it has spiraled. And she was the executive producer of it. And of the show? Of the show. Okay. Uh, of the of the documentary. And Who was the executive to include the documentary? She was. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Okay. She was the executive. Well, that's what. Okay. Okay. Thing that I've read okay. in the last uh -huh. 
24 but, hours trying but I to thought come the, up with. Some, somebody from her camp was trying to sue the kid from being aired. Okay. The person who was attempting to sue, who took her to court, is the guardian, is her guardian, mm. is the court appointed guardian. Okay. Therein is issues another. The court appointed guardian who has been identified within the last 24 to 48 hours as this person, Sabrina Morrissey. And so I tracked who is this Sabrina Morrissey. And she's a member, she has a law firm, small practice called Morrissey LLP. And she focuses her solo practice on, guess what? Trust in estate law, guardianships, and small corporation matters. Mm. And she's part of something called Part 36 list as a special referee, guardian, guardian ad litem. I didn't know what that was. I didn't get a chance to look that up. Court evaluator and attorney for alleged incapacitated people. Mm. So the Sabrina Morrissey is the person who tried to stop the airing of the documentary and that did not happen but she was the one that was appointed by the court as a result of conflict with wells fargo and that, that's a whole nother thing of wells fargo saying that she needed to be protected from her money <laughs> who needed to be protected that wendy williams uh-huh Needed to be protected from her own money. From her, from her, because she's going through it. With, right, that's just what they so, say: so, drugs so, and alcohol it, it, are playing a part. Yes. Okay. What I want to focus on before I get to the things you learn from this is the fact that her relationship, and and we want marriages to stay together. You know, we wrote the book because we want to save a million marriages, enhance a million marriages, and we talk about marriage every week and this I, I as i've heard it i and i got the letter or the email um i said well i want to make sure we stay focused on the main thing and keeping the main thing the main thing from our perspective which is relationships and what we can learn from this wendy williams experience in terms of relationship one of the things i shared with the team today that i heard an interview about wendy williams she said her biggest goal in her life has always been to be famous. Well, I think she achieved that. She said, rich was nice if we came along with it, but more than anything was to be famous. And that was her priority. And you think she achieved it? She did. Oh, she was famous. At what cost, though, are you going to become famous in the sense of her marriage fell apart? Now, her husband was her business partner. Was her business partner, her manager. And who then, who handled the business, the financial affairs. Is it correct? pretty safe to say that? And, 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 and many of the deals that radio, television deals were orchestrated or developed or created by him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but there was something wrong with the relationship. <clears throat> there was something broken, something missing, something inadequate in the relationship that would make him leave her and have a another woman who eventually had a child he had a child with. And hey, Olynthia, glad you're here and hope you and Mr. Bordelia Leo well, uh, but he had a, a child with. So as I'm reading this, looking at this, I'm saying, what's wrong with the relationship? And that, and I think part of what I want to talk about, okay. and Dee's going to talk about something more, more intense than her mm -hmm. point, but how life is about prioritizing. We've been married going on 30 years, uh, 40 years, going on 40 years, haven't had an argument in 36, 37 years. 
And one of the things that has been a major point of our success in our marriage is she's my priority. She is my priority. And now I want to do, I want to be successful. I want my books to be bestsellers. I want my radio shows to do well. I want my television programming to do well. I want my speaking business to do well, my music business to do well. I want them all to do well, but she's my priority. And I think it's important that in a relationship, you don't lose focus on what your priority is. Because you can, it's uh, you know, fame is very attractive and alluring, and it's fleeting. It, well, it's fleeting, but it's also very, uh, it's very seductive. seductive. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm not saying I don't. I wasn't in the bedroom with them. I don't know, but when I heard that quote, that she said, "I just want to be famous, no matter what it takes, no matter what I want to be famous." made me think, well, maybe her husband felt that he was not a priority. He, he knew she was talented. He knew she was ambitious. He knew she was driven. But what about, what about me? Or in that sense, you know, what about me uh, as, a, as a man, as a husband, as the a, as a, as a, as a love interest in your life? Am I, where am I on the totem pole? And so, that could have played. I'm just, I'm just. I know, we don't know. I don't know. But I do know that we have found that successful marriages are marriages when one, people make each other the priority. Two, people talk to each other and care for each other and respect each other and, and communicate verbally and non-verbally. And so and so that this is just something I think that I want people to learn the lesson. Make your your spouse, yeah, make your significant other significant. Mm, we write about that in the book. Make a make a, a commitment to make your significant other or your significant person significant. Feel significant because it, it plays out in so many ways. If he didn't feel significant, he felt like he was just a business partner. Then he went and found love elsewhere. Uh, well, she was also ill. So uh, um, this but this was the, the marriage breaking down was before she got before what we, we say say she was ill. Hmm. Okay, or the signs of it. Uh, the people on the show, uh, there was a piece on today, and we're getting all this data uh, that the, co the and people it's, and it's all people's opinions. Yeah, but the people who worked on the show said we didn't know she was that sick. We knew something was wrong. But we didn't know she was that sick. But the, the marriage had been falling apart long before then. Okay, so now now we can talk about the alcohol-induced dementia. Yeah. You know, so they talk about alcohol-induced dementia because she had she loves was it is it vodka or whatever it is whatever it is. She loves At one alcohol. point, she liked cocaine. Okay, uh, which was given to us from that unnamed staff person. I'm not supposed to call well, her that. Anyway, uh, she said she actually saw her uh, at a, an industry event um, using cocaine mm -hmm. in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, and the husband had to come in and get her out and it was ugly and they say there was some, some drama. So, so uh -huh. she has some habits. Yes, and, and perhaps the habits, the the drugs, the drinking, interfered with the development of the relationship. Mm. I can think it's kind of hard. Maybe to that's achieve. right. You know, it's hard to have a great relationship when you're in love with drugs and alcohol. Well, I think you don't have time for the other. That's person. again, but go Could back to priorities. Going back to priorities. Going back to priorities. What's your priority? Is it cocaine? Is it alcohol? Or is it your mate? Folks, it's critically important to make your mate a priority. If you want your marriage to do well, make a priority. Tell them that you love them. Show them that you love them. Make them important. She's important to me. You is important to me. Make it clear. All right, go ahead. You want to talk about the money. Well, I, I know you want to talk about the money. I'm giving you... Mm, no, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about the money. <gasps> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Go ahead. What are you going to say? 
Okay, all of this material, it still comes down to the fact that, oh, we've kind of discovered within the last year that she has either alcohol-induced dementia or what's that thing that, that Bruce Willis also has? Aphasia. And aphasia, which some frontal lobe that causes dementia. So you've got the physical frontal lobe issue T, what is it? T. There, there's a phrase. It's dementia, but let me see where. I don't, uh, we know somebody who had aphasia. We, yes. Who, who um, was, was one of my attorneys. So. It's difficult to form your words. You could not. He couldn't get the words out. And I have another one who who is um, um, uh, another attorney, a friend of mine. Who called the other day and, and I told D afterwards he has uh, Yes, he what you were on speaker and, and he could hear, hesitates. She, she could he couldn't get the words. Yes. Right. Yes. And and his wife had told me he had uh some issues. Dementia. Okay, so let's talk about D. We know she's unhealthy. She and not uh, not unhealthy, she's sick. Mm -hmm. She has aphasia, she has dementia, and now we've got these issues with guardianship as well as custody, the bank, money. The Wells Fargo mm -hmm. Bank uh -huh. steps in, and that's probably a whole nother issue as to how the bank steps in and says, we need to protect her from her assets. And they appoint the guardian. They appointed the guardian. Correct. Okay. Now let, let, let me ask you the question because this is these kind of barely would. What would a wise couple? Well, I, I would say it really is a breakdown in the communication of once her, her marriage fell apart, who do you go to to make sure that you have a support system? an ongoing support system. Well, so her well, family what has been the wise thing to do. So uh, her family is 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 out of the loop. But they cannot they cannot call her. She can call them, but right. they cannot they call don't her. know where she is. Uh -huh. They don't have access to her money. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And on one of those pieces on the documentary you have Wendy Williams saying, Oh, I only have two dollars to my name. We don't we don't know what any of that is. But she does not control her assets. How could you have prevented that? That's what you're trying to get me. To well, what I really want you to so in a in a in a healthy marriage relationship, people do get sick. So, what should the uh, like a health directive? Okay, that's what we're talking about. That the the, the mate is actively involved. In. Mm -hmm. Who makes decisions for you if you are not able? to make decisions for yourself. Mm -hmm. You make that decision before you become incapacitated. That's correct. So what, what we want to say is that couples should talk about a couple things. One, health directives, health decisions, what happens if one of us gets sick. Next thing is what happens to the money. And third thing is what happens when one of us dies? Who makes the calls? Who, who who decides? Is it the children? Is it? Well, what if there are no? Okay, but but in this particular situation, okay. they have one. They have they have one son. The husband, the, Wendy and Williams, and her son a junior, have, have and a, he has no control over what's happening with his mom either. Okay, mm. but that is because that was not set up by her. So mm. she and her husband are divorced. There's no one in place to handle her affairs or anyone that the bank could even turn to. For, for example, when we set up the, the trust and all, you still you have to know you have to notify the bank. Mm. So who's in line to do what? You know, there's such a security number, all of that. So evidently none of none of that was there. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's so much. It's it's kind of like a spider web. So even if you you have a will which says this is what's supposed to happen when I die, this is who gets what, then you you have your trust of how are your assets actually administrated, and then you might have names and the like. You 
need social security numbers, you need phone numbers. It's just such a network to make sure that the people and the assets and the decisions all go the way you want it to go. And what we're saying is it would appear that she had none of those specifics in place. Right, right, right. So let's let me if I had the, the DeLorean and could do the going back in time, like, uh, you know, the, the famous movie with Michael J. Fox, uh, we go back in time and one. I would say to her and her husband that marriage counseling is necessary because there obviously were some issues in the, in the relationship because there was there was you know we were told that there was quite a bit of arguing but it was all you know it's okay i'm just saying i'm trying to say what can we learn what can we teach what can, what can we, we learn teach, from what, that right what, if we don't know how much in terms of the public drama was intentional because it helped her get more attention. Okay. Okay. But let's just say that. But at the end of the day, yes. Once the once the mate is gone, let's get to once the mate is gone. How do you protect yourself? Mm. How do you protect your well being when you get dementia? Something happens. You have a heart attack. Who is there to help take care of you if you have not planned? That is what we're saying. And, and, with the mate or without a mate, what's the plan? And it is something that people don't want to talk about. They normally don't want to talk about it because they're afraid if they talk about it, something, something going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. So you don't plan. Right. You don't talk about dying because you can never talk about dying because it's morbid. And then but what day everybody going to die? But what if you don't die and just become ill? Mm. Who's going to? help take care of you hmm. that cares about you oh that's, that that's good that's that good that's good who's going to take care of you who cares about you and yeah. not about getting access to your dollars another interesting thing i read they said that in 2022 they said who is they that her assets total like 20 million dollars hmm. now they're saying her assets total like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. i don't wow. know wow where all that money but go but hmm. also that her husband wanted to renegotiate his alimony because he was getting they say two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month well there's not two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month anymore Ooh. to get so he gets no more out how do you have Two hundred fifty. I can't even get my head around that. How do you spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month for alimony? That, that, that's, that's quite a different lifestyle. Yeah, that's quite a different lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So, so in a few minutes we've got left. What are your thoughts on this this topic, Wendy Williams, the the dissolvement of her marriage? We know she could not control per se. I, they, they keep saying it. The dementia is alcohol induced, but we also know other people who have dementia that, that alcohol didn't have it played. Mm -hmm. It was just, it just happened. She had a destructive, she, we could say she possibly had a destructive lifestyle between drugs and alcohol. Yeah, and, and yeah, okay, okay. It didn't help her mental state. And it didn't help her marriage either. No. Okay, no. so these are points of interest that we want, we need to say to families, couples, listen carefully. Number one, make your your mate, your significant other, significant. Make your mate a priority. Highly important point. Number two is that you should. And I go back to she said fame was her priority, and everything else fell in apart as, as, uh, along the way. God is my priority, followed by my wife, followed by my family, followed by my, my, my career. And I keep those priorities in line and focused on. And we, we've developed a great marriage and relationship and got a good business. So And you have to plan. And you got to plan. Now, prioritize, then plan. You still have to have 
a plan. You, have to, have, you have to have a worst case scenario. A drill, a health a directive, mm -hmm. all of that, correct? And which, correct. Right, okay. And you have to talk about that. And then the third one, that was it. The third one was prioritize, plan, and communicate. And I would give a fourth one. Well, you, if, you if, communicate first. Uh, when, you communi when you communicate and talk about everything, then you can come up with a plan. Okay. Okay. And then the, the last one is get marriage counseling if, if things are going bad. Get marriage counseling. But you we, know what I think? I think we're not my, marriage counseling. In my humble we're opinion, that's what we people to vote. who are very who are who are celebrity figures, I think the drama is is good for their careers. Yeah, but still, the marriage is falling apart. Well, okay. Well, if you <laughs> that's, not that's that's true. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you. They're not interested because it's not a priority. Goes back to what I said before. If it's not a priority, then the career, having the drama, it's good for the, it's good for my my celebrity. But it ain't good for your marriage. You know, it's like we are we writing a book. Leave the drama with your mama. Chapter number five. Leave the drama with your mama. Reality shows are, are, are great for ratings, but they're terrible for marriages. I don't, Do not use them as a role model for your marriage. Okay, I ahead. don't think people think long term. Okay, priority. Everything goes back to priority. It goes back to them planning, and then it goes back to communicate. And then if things are messed up, get some marriage counseling. Also, if things are messed up, get two, not one, two. Two copies of the marriage book. Two copies. Two copies. Make love, make money, make it last. Two copies. One for each of you to read. And you read it together. And at the end of each chapter, you talk about the learning points. And you discuss them. Because this will help make your mate a priority. This will help you plan for your, 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 your life together and help you to win together and help you communicate more. Isn't that right? That's right. Hey, Greg, uh, Greg Kazaris says, spot on, Willie. Starts with a dream that, focus, uh, that focuses more than ourselves. God and family spouse should be priorities. Thank you, Greg. I'm telling you, folks, God and family should be your priority. This woman is my priority. I want to be successful. I want to make money. I want to have a great uh, success story. But nothing more than God first, family second, and this woman is part of the family. Okay? All right. Anything else? We got two minutes. Well, I want to make sure that people know that we are going to have sponsors. And if you're interested in your organization, your company, your, your corporation, saying we want to influence people via this kind of programming that the Jollies do, you know, a positive message every week on, on TV or online, we'd like to be their sponsor, brought to you by, because we're going to help some uh, companies to grow their influence. So info at willyjolly.com if you are interested in sponsorship or know someone who is interested. Number two, if you have had some problems, some issues, we have a marriage relationship repair series already in the can you are you are access it just go to two accesses just go to jollymarriage.com slash events and you can access it it's five parts uh communication sex and, mar and romance money uh children and blended families okay and um then there's a, a, a bonus part, which is the 11 biggest mistakes that people make in relationships and how to fix them. Now go again to jollymarriage.com slash events and get it today. All right. Um, last but not least, it's as we go out of Black History Month, we want to say that uh, we have celebrated Black History Month. And I, I think one of the things I think is so profound um, can you come to Empowerment Temple in Maryland? Yes, we can. We, you know, just contact our office. And uh, we got another church who called the other day about doing something at their church. So if you will contact our office, 202-723-8863, 202-723-8863, or email us at info, info at Willie. Jolly.com. We've been coming. We're back to traveling. We're going to churches. We had done a lot before the pandemic, a number of churches all over the country, but we're now uh, going to be doing more. Uh, mm -hmm. Jerome Washington, thank you for jumping in. Uh, Olympia, uh, the 
Kimmy Coco, uh, Greg Cazera, uh, who else is on tonight? We got quite a few people. And they, oh, I always have to take a thank you to all the people who watch this in the replay and say to you, thank you. Uh, we know a lot of people are doing that now. We get people to stop us. I had a lady the other day, D. Who said? Oh, in the church. She in said, the elevator. In the elevator. Oh, yeah. I love you. You know who you are. You you uh, gave us such a blessing in the elevator on at First Baptist Church of Glen Arden the other day and said, uh, you know, you watch every day. Thank you, Desiree Matthew. You say, great show. So I uh, hope this uh, was of interest. Hope this for, was something you will use and share with others. Okay. So I'm I'm saying as as we watch with sadness, yes. the, the Wendy Williams, the rest of the series, and I'm sure it's replaying and, and the stories and the like, take the lessons of communicating because she's really now all along. Yes. So communicate, honor, and prioritize and your spot and prepare. Okay, you add another P. So, okay. Oh, oh yeah. You said plan. So we got prioritize, we got plan, now prepare, and then communicate. Talk, talk to each other and, and love each other. Love each other and, and, I think you also and get need counseling to have, if you, you need have to have a, a common purpose. Her I got another, purpose. another P. Okay, oh, purpose. So, okay. So, because her purpose was to be famous, right? Well, you know what? I, I couldn't take her purpose away from her, but I could tell her. But how what, did that relate how, to her you, mate? Well, again, how? goes back to priority. If you make them a priority, I've got a purpose. I've got a calling that I really think I'm supposed to do. Yes. But you still my priority. Okay? I'm not going to leave you to go give a speech. And say, I'm leaving my wife forever to go give some speeches. No, she's priority. That's what I'm saying to you, Dean. Bring the money home. All right, you got it. <laughs> hey, look, our time is up. Thank y'all for yours. We got to go. We're over time. Here we go. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, see you next week. Tell everybody you know to tune in Monday nights, 9 o'clock for the Jolly Marriage Show or watch us on the Jolly Marriage Show on YouTube. Here we go. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.